Okay, yes, hello, back at it again with another video, except this time I am attempting to do a concert vlog for only one of concerts here in the United States. So I am currently just waiting in line to get gas, and I thought that since I'm not going to be able to talk while I am actively driving, I thought now is the best time if anything. This is my first time seeing only one of. They were actually one of the first two groups that I got into during the pandemic when I got back into K-pop. So I was, or one of the three. So I got back into Astro during the pandemic and I started to get into only one of and Pentagon. Except out of those two groups, it looks like Pentagon is the one who came up top in terms of actually becoming like an alt group for me. My relationship with only one of is kind of like the way people talk about Pentagon. For example, I was around when Love, the leader and one of the members actually was essentially booted out of the company and group. So it's kind of similar to the way that Dawn left except Dawn was a lot more high profile. But I noticed that a lot of my love for only one of changed after Love left because I just kind of thought about how shady it was that he was able to leave with no... I guess with just no like fanfare. So I wasn't too happy with the company and then watching the members go through that was kind of hard. So it was just easier for me to disengage completely because for me, K-pop is supposed to be a hobby. So after that, I didn't really get back into them for some reason because they started doing all of their solo releases. I essentially tuned in, but I wasn't like a full stand. Like I only remember to listen to their music when I had the time or when it came up in the servers that I was in. But I am on my way to listen to them perform tonight. I did get the highest tier. I got the VVIP, which comes with the early entry. Uh, I think a group photo, a fan sign, and concert admission. So I'm really excited. Hopefully this isn't like my CIX vlog where I essentially just filmed the intro and then nothing else. But I am excited for today. I kept forgetting that it was coming up until like the week of the concert. But I have some things to do before the concert, so my timeline is a little more rushed than I would like. But we will see what happens. Anyways, uh, wish me luck. I hope you get. I hope I get to show you around the city. But until then, I will be back. I am getting Krispy Kreme because I am nothing if not predictable. Now I am heading back to my car, and I will be driving to the venue. So much for my little pit stop for snacks, but that's okay. I do have to say that the roads up here in Jersey City are terrible. I'm not really happy to be driving here, but I also have no choice. So up next, I'll hopefully be showing you what the venue looks like and then checking in. And then I'll be meeting up with a friend so we can go and get some food, which I'm excited for because I was robbed of my donuts this time and it's kind of cold and I'm walking really fast because I did not park where I'm supposed to park and I do not want to get told right now. Hello, hello. So I am here to continue my only one of concert vlog slash talk and quick disclaimer, this video is probably going to be really top heavy in terms of its content. As in, I really only had time to film everything that happened before the concert, especially because I met up with friends and at that point it was just kind of like a blur in terms of walking around, getting situated and getting food. So I am home now. And I'm thinking that I could just go through my concert bag because that's not something that I, I guess, do or did. Honestly, doing a concert vlog is not something that I am used to doing in the first place. But because I am trying to fill up time, that is what we're going to be doing. So, first thing with uh, going to concerts, figuring out if there is a bag check or if there is a limitation on what type of bags you can bring in. I am bringing a big tote bag because honestly, you can shove everything in here. And I, I guess I'm going to be talking about the concert while I go through this. Actually, I can talk about the concert while I go through my merch and all the stuff that I picked up. So here is the VVIP item. 
this is something that they advertise as being like a free thing that they give out for the VVIP members. It's just a lanyard. It's nothing special, but it does have your queue number, which is the number that you get in line. So obviously if you're queue number one or two, you are the first two into the venue when the concert actually starts. Incredible. I love Studio Pat for doing this because then you don't actually have to wait in line for GA, especially because a lot of their venues are GA. And it just takes so much stress out of the day. Lip balm because we like to stay moisturized out there. Phone charger. Honestly, I actually have like a bigger one that I usually use, but this one is lighter. It just doesn't pack as much juice as the others. Nothing else in that pocket. Pocket back here, I believe, is my snapshot. I did a snapshot with Nine. He's so cute. He is kind of my bias. Like, I don't stand only one of like that. I am, I guess, more casual. But when I was a big lion, he was my bias. And, uh, that might change, honestly. I don't think that uh, I'm gonna follow only one of any closer after this concert, but I had probably the best time of my life. What is this? This is more freebies that people give out. You know, Lions really showed up. Like, I, I don't think I've received this many freebies from a concert probably, probably since BTS when I saw them back in like 2017. But in this tote bag, one of the reasons why I love having a big tote like this is that there is just so much space in here. Like I have a whole pair of shoes in here and these are my heels that I wear when I'm inside the venue, especially for GA. This is the, uh, I think this is like a Wonderwall pre-order benefit from Libido era. My friend gifted me a whole album and the pre-order benefit because she doesn't collect, uh, she doesn't collect photo cards and she just wanted to try for the fan sign. She wasn't able to get in, but she still gifted this to me, which I really appreciate. And it's cute because now I essentially have a matching Polaroid, which is cute. And in here I have my shoes, which are heels. So these aren't really platforms i hear that there are better shoes out there with more of a heel in this area than back here because after maybe like an hour of these my feet were uh, no more than an hour after maybe like three hours these absolutely kill me like it hurt standing there and i really wanted to just actually take them off but i got a pretty good view and i wasn't sacrificing that for the sake of comfort because we're not about that life I paid my money to be there. I am getting the most that I can out of my experience. So back here, some gum because we don't want to be stinky. Uh, my makeup bag is usually in my car so I don't keep that. Car keys. And then wallet. It's best to always have your ID and credit card. Studio Pab is kind of inconsistent. Sometimes they ID you at the venue, sometimes they don't. But if anything, I'm sure that they'll probably ID you for the sake of uh your venue actually yeah it is pretty venue dependent just kidding i've been to this venue before and they id'd me there but this time they didn't and then at a different venue they asked me for my id so we could see if we can like drink or whatever and this time they did walk around asking people for ids and then crossing our hands with little x's in case we were minors of which i am not or not even mine, they're just underage for drinking. So these are the freebies that I received. And I guess now, I guess I'm just going to talk a little bit more about the concert itself while I unpack my album. I didn't buy this album at the venue, but this is the signed album that I brought with me. Oh my gosh, what a show. I am so sorry to all the other groups that I've seen this past year. And if you watch any of my videos, I'm sure you can kind of figure out that, like, SF9 is one of my top two groups. I have nothing bad to say about SF9. They're some of my favorite people in the whole world. And to this day, I still- or not even to this day anymore. I would like to still say that SF9 had the best concert that I've ever gone to, especially in such a small and limited venue. Because they're more in, like, a 
performing arts theater than an actual like stadium or arena and i do have to say the production value for stadiums and arenas is just significantly better than a small theater so my perspective may be skewed against small theater performances but sf9 was a party and i loved their concert and i had so much fun but only one of truly blew me away i cannot even begin to tell you let me just actually let me just flip through this so you have something to look at while i talk I cannot even begin to tell you how much fun I had at Only One Of. So aside from the fact that I met up with friends, and meeting up with friends is a little different than going to a concert by yourself, which I'm more used to doing. But after meeting up with friends, we continued to make friends in line because we had a couple of people who were standing in between us in terms of queue number. So we just talked to them in between. I ended up accidentally meeting someone from a Discord server I'm in. And I didn't even realize it was, I was talking to them until I remember that they posted their outfit in the server a couple days ago. And I was looking at the, what this person was wearing and I'm like, looks really familiar and what are the odds that it's the same thing? So we make that connection, I realize it's the same person, we start to talk a lot more. And we're basically with each other for the entire concert because our queue numbers are right next to each other. The concert itself... I was second row, essentially. I was I would even say like row 1.5 because I was standing in between like the heads of the two people in front of me. Those boys are incredible. The choreography is amazing. Uh, they utilize so many levels in their dancing. Like there's so much floor work, and I have to say, being second row while they do floor work right in front of your eyes is honestly it's heart stopping. Like I know, I know that people say that the idols on stage cannot see you because of the stage lights. I don't know if that's true for these small venues because I swear to God I've made eye contact with multiple members while they were dancing and watching them do hip thrusts and like grinding on the floor while making either direct eye contact with you or with your camera is something to behold. Uh, for the fan side, it was super fast. My only impression was that they're all beautiful. Their skin is actually really nice, so I don't know why they like to add so many filters onto their photos. But Mill blew me away during the fan side because he was so cute. I don't even remember what he said, but he definitely had the most to say in terms of just like conversation. And because I was essentially first row for the group photo and watching the fan side, we get to watch the members interact with every person as they went through and it was so heartwarming to see because like all the fans look thrilled and I don't know what it is about only one of but they were so smiley like they just genuinely seemed really happy to be there and the last time I thought that like an idol was so happy to see fans was seeing like end flying and then after that for the actual concert itself or not even that, so for the photos and the fan sign, because we were front row, like I mentioned, we got to watch them interact with everyone. They're really cute during the photo, like they they never repeated a pose. They're really considerate about fans, and fans are considerate back to them, so for my venue, Mill and Rie were on the ends, and when they had fans next to them, most of the time the fans actually kept like a bit of a distance away from them, because fans want to respect their personal space but those two just straight up put their arms around their fans and all the other members would reach back and do hearts with as many people as they possibly can and it was so precious like those guys went above and beyond what i usually expect out of an idol when it comes to fan interactions like that and being front row was really special because you got to see how happy both fans and artists made each other so that was really nice. I'm really glad I got to experience part of that. Like, even if my own fan sign in the photo was kind of whack. Like, I was pushed into the corner, so I didn't, didn't get to do any interactions with the members. But that's fine, because I got to watch them enjoy their time with everyone else. Which is really special to me. For the concert itself... Wow. They... They did not pull any punches when it comes to choreography. Like, they hit everything. They hit all the moves as needed. They did all the hip thrusts. Their facial expressions were on point. They did as much eye contact as they could possibly make. I'm like, I can't even fully talk about how good that experience was because I just think they're so amazing. Um, 
I don't know. I don't know if my perspective is skewed because I was essentially front row and I did get some fan service from the members. Like, I actually don't know their signature, so I will just be blindly pointing. I think this is probably Jun. Is this Mil? Okay, so this is probably Mil. That's Ryue. So I think this might be Yu Jung's. No, not Yu Jung's. This might be Nine's. Because it's kind of cute. Don't know their signatures, obviously, but I did get a bit of fan service. Like, we were right next to their water bottle, so when they would lean down, we can just wave and they would wave back. Uh, Cuban and I made like faces at each other while we were standing in line for the or while we were waiting for them to start their fan sign and he was just standing in front of us and then what else let me just move this aside and show you the other this is a tour poster pretty standard pretty sure it's the same as the lanyard Oh, uh, what else? Uh, I got to talk to Yu Jung a little, and I feel really bad about this actually, because they were asking for food recommendations, and I was yelling something. I kept yelling, uh, I kept yelling the name of this place that I used to go to for food, and this is also the place that Golden Child went to, and I'm like, it's a, it's a Korean establishment. Let me try to yell at him. So I kept yelling at him, and he and I like locked eyes, and he comes closer because he's trying to hear what I'm saying and then he does that thing where he cups his like hands around his ears and he's like he looks so focused and his eyes or his eyebrows are all furrowed and everything because he was trying to hear what I'm saying we just couldn't like understand each other because one I don't think he knows how to read mouths and I'm just saying the name of a local joint it's not even a franchise that he recognizes and it feels so bad because at one point I'm just kind of like I just did this and I started shaking my head while smiling and then he says sorry in English and I just felt so bad because like yeah I did get my uh, one to one moment with him but I just I don't know I kind of felt bad that I couldn't give him what he wanted which was an answer and then he tried really hard to listen to me which is why I feel so bad but that's fine uh, Junji is incredible he and Rie took my phones and Junji was basically, listen, I am going to sound so sick and so delusional in this video, but I swear to God that man was making eye contact because we were basically right in front of each other this entire time, or we were always right in front of each other for the choreo, and I don't know what it is, but I'm like, when I was there, I was just vibing the entire time. Like, yes, I was trying to film, but like, I was, this is something that I'm really surprised about. So only one of... Their newer stuff post Libido is not songs that I would choose to listen to, like Skins and Chrome Hearts. I can fully admit to like not liking. Hearing those songs live, I feel like just changed something in my mind. Like those are just such clubby, like bass hitting songs that you just have no choice but to actually just want to dance around. Like it was so incredible hearing those live because I like I don't think I will still listen to the songs not in a live venue. But hearing the bass, watching everyone jump around, watching them get energy from the crowd as well was just so cool. So I'm actually, you can probably hear me fumbling around, but I am looking for something that I wanted to showcase in terms of like things that you should bring when you go to a concert. Because I just went through like the very brief basics of like, yeah, phone charger, money, wallet, ID, lip balm, gum. Oh, I don't know why I can't find it, but okay, it's, um, I have this little box of, like, portable headphones. And those headphones are so necessary because they protect your ears from all of the loud music and all of the screaming that's around you. Because there's definitely going to be a lot of screaming. Definitely recommend getting those little uh, earbuds because they will definitely help you in the long run so you don't get tinnitus. I bring them whenever I can or whenever I remember to for a concert. But I think at this point they're just going to stay a staple in my concert bag, but definitely recommend 10 out of 10. Your ears don't ring after a concert, and you can still hear the music and everything. You might not be able to hear the person talking next to you, but that's fine. Um, the crowd was good. No one was pushing until they started taking phones, which is to be, uh, I guess it's kind of understandable. Like, there wasn't a barricade in front of the stage. They only had tape and they just told fans not to go past the tape and no one pushed us beyond that. Which was really nice and considerate of them. I know a lot of people have like flack against post-pandemic concerts for some reason. 
I do not agree at all. I feel like it has to be venue specific because every post-pandemic concert I've been to has a incredibly kind crowd and no one is pushing, no one is being rude aside from, you know, the crazies who you can who you can kind of figure out really fast. Like you can kind of tell someone who spends too much time on Stan Twitter within the first 15 seconds of them opening their mouth. Like there, I will say it. Like you can you can pretty much clock someone who's a little too aggressive or too into K-pop culture for their own good. You can almost clock them immediately. Uh, what else about the concert? Wow, really, 10 out of 10. Like the discography was great. Uh, who did their solos? Mill and Junji did their solos, and I actually didn't like Mill's solo beat when it came out, but hearing that live, watching his energy, seeing the way that he's bouncing around and feeding off of the crowd was so cool. Like, they do really feed off of the crowd. Like, I know people also don't like the whole barking thing, the woo 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 that fans like to do at concerts, and people don't like the whole speaking over a member as they're trying to talk to the crowd. But I feel like either only one of is they're either too nice or they played it off really well because as soon as someone would start doing that, they would just join in. Like, if someone's yelling stuff for another member, that member would just respond. So, I don't know. I really don't know what it is. But here's another pack of freebies. People are so dedicated with these freebies. Like, I really want to up my freebie game at this point. Because, like, I'm looking at this and, like, there's not even... There's like barely any self promo. Like, yeah, there's some self promo on the back, but like people aren't like, oh, tag me on Instagram when you receive this. Like, it was just so generous. Best freebie game has to be for like a BTS concert though. Like, that's, there's really no competition for that, but I feel like that just has to do with like the sheer number of people going. And then at the end, my friend and I saw them off when they went into their vans. I, I'll be honest, I always kind of thought that, that that was a little creepy when fans did that. Because, like, technically the idol has fulfilled their obligation to you and no longer needs to cater to your wishes for fan service. So, I don't know how I got suckered into that, but we... I don't know. We just had time. We didn't need to go home yet, and they wanted to, and I still wanted to hang out with them. So that's what we did saw them they're all really nice all waved high i can probably include like a little video now about it nothing really special not something that i'll probably do again for future concerts but something about this concert was just so great like i cannot even begin to describe how awesome this concert was i don't even think i talked this much uh or this thoroughly about sf9's concert but then again i didn't do a concert vlog because i was busy like i I'm not even kidding, like by the time that the concert actually started or when we were waiting inside the venue after the fan sign and fan photo, my cheeks actually hurt from smiling so much. Like it was nice that I got along with the people who I was standing with because they were super nice too. And then we would also just talk about the members who were in front of us and like what type of fans that they were doing to the fans that they were talking to or interacting with. And my cheeks like hurt and I was like, I don't know if I can keep smiling like this for the rest of the night. Like, it was actually insane how happy I was. Like, I left that venue and I was walking to my car at the end of the night and I was just like, damn. This post-concert depression or the post-concert come down or the post-concert high is gonna go in so many directions. And I feel like just basing off of the fact that I am talking super fast right now, that you can tell that I'm really excited. I have not even started going through my fan cams yet because I got home so late last night. And I'm, you know, I'm filming this like the day after, so you are getting all of that residual energy. But oh my god, 10 out of 10 concert. I'm so annoyed, th and I wish that I did multiple stops. Like, hindsight is 2020, so I actually wasn't too into only one of as of late because I didn't really like most of their solos or the latest releases. So I, I was considering selling my ticket for this concert itself, but because I was going with a friend, I didn't want to leave her. And I already, you know, kind of paid for it. And they did two stops near me, so I have the Friday stop, which is what I did. And uh, I had another friend go to the Wednesday stop, and she was asking me, she was like, yeah, you should come with me because we're, like, we're far away from each other, so we still try to 
meet up when we can, especially through concerts, and I just, I couldn't swing the money at that point, which is dumb because I bought crabby tickets, so I definitely could have bought those only one of tickets. But hearing her talk about her experience, and then seeing her on Friday, like, look even more thrilled to be there, like, I cannot begin to tell you how much I regret not doing two stops. I understand my reasoning as to not wanting to, because money-wise, and just, my heart wasn't in it, honestly, especially on a Wednesday. But I should have. Like, next time I ever talk about considering going to a concert, but, like, having a really flimsy excuse about not wanting to, just, I don't know, I'm gonna ask my friends to yell at me. I have- I was talking to some other friends about how I wanted to sell my ticket and how I was really close to selling all of my snapshots. I only sold one and I wanted to sell the other one, but then day of the concert, I was holding on to that shit. Like, I was not gonna let go of that snapshot. I was taking that picture with nine, regardless of if it killed me. Of course, the snapshots were super fast. Uh, I feel like they definitely oversold them, but, uh... I mean, I'm just gonna include a little venue- a little video of what the venue looks like now while everyone's waiting for snapshots. And then it's just waiting. We waited 45 minutes for the snapshots to begin, and then your snapshot was over in... 15 seconds? So... Maybe not worth it, but getting to see the way that Nine smiled after I said, You worked hard in Korean was so cute because at first he said just thank you for coming in english and then i said uh sugo sugo he and i think i accidentally used the informal version but that's because i am older than him so i used that and then he started saying oh go ma wo and he just had like the cutest face and voice and like his entire face lit up as soon as i used korean so it's just it's cute that they're so appreciative that even just like one phrase like that showing that you had a little effort in their culture and everything it's just cute how happy it makes them so i'm kind of down bad for them like i i i don't even remember which song it was but i think it was libido where jonji was doing like body rolls on the ground in front of me and making eye contact like i think something about my mind short-circuited like i have no idea what my face looked like i have no idea what he thought when he saw my face but it was intense I, like, I have nothing more to say about this concert. Like, I've already gone for 23 minutes, and there are, I'm sure, more details that I can probably include. But I probably can't get them out now, realistically. But, oh my god. I, realistically, I'm probably going to be posting this video after the entire concert is over, or after the entire tour is over. So I can't even use this as a way to encourage people to go. I just wanted to recount my own concert experience. 10 out of 10... Not sure if it's because like they just put on a good show or not, or if all their music is just so clubby and so jumpy and just so like hard hitting. I think that definitely has to do with it. So that, their music being good for live performances, Studio Pav increasing their budget for lighting and uh, special effects like the smoke and the big screen in the back, and me being really close. So those three things really added to my experience. If I did them again in a different stop and I was further back, sure, I might have a different experience, but we will never know because I got to see them from second row and I don't know how to act anymore, honestly. Like, that was incredible. 10 out of 10, would do again. Kind of wish I filmed the entire night just so I could have gotten a video of me and Jinji, uh, me and Yujong yelling at each other, but it's fine. Lions are so nice found out literally the day of the concert that it's pronounced lion and not leon like the name but it's okay you learn something new every single day so that is it for me that is me just talking for 25 minutes straight at this point hopefully i took enough fan cams that i can just intersperse them in so i'm just not ranting at you but thank you all for listening I do have more concert vlogs coming up, I guess, if I can remember to do this for Gravity. But after Gravity, I have no more concerts to look forward to unless I actually do get tickets for Icon. But we'll see. We'll see. K-pop concerts are so much fun. Why do I spend my money on collecting when I can spend it on experiences? And that is something I think about every single day. So if you see me make a video where I drop my collection, you'll know why. Thank you all for listening. I hope you went to only one of and had a good time. And if not, I hope you consider seeing them for their next tour. Have a good day and happy collecting and happy concert going.